Columbus Day celebrates Italian American heritage, and we are joined today by Lydia Bastianich, restaurateur, cookbook author, host of Lydia's Italy. Uh, you can't turn on PBS and not see one of your shows, right? Uh -huh. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah. We watch and we learn and we cook and we aspire. Harry, you you are more prepared than I am. Look at you. Look well, at this outfit. Yeah, but see, I make a mess. You don't make a mess. No, right? no, no. You're under control. But we aspire, <laughs> just for <laughs> three minutes or so, we aspire to be like you in the kitchen. And one of the th things that we want to start talking about this morning is it's Columbus Day. Columbus comes to North America, and all of these explorers came back to the old country with all kinds of spectacular you, things. You, you look at this and you think, what a great Italian market. Right. But unless Columbus had come to discover the new world, this right. would have never made it to an Italian market. Because you'd never find the corn. Or the squash. Right. Or the sweet potatoes. And especially. Or, the right, tomato. The tomatoes. Can so, you imagine Italian cooking I can't. without tomatoes? I just can't. Absolutely you know, impossible. But you know, us Italians then make it our own very yeah. quickly. So, you appropriate it. Yeah, yeah, is that the word? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so here, this is a great pasta dish right. for the season. A uh, little onion, garlic, yeah. olive oil, right. squash, and this happens to be butternut squash, butternut just squash. peeled yeah. and cut in cubes. Uh -huh. And you let this caramelize. You know, in cooking, the vegetables have their own uh, uh, water, of course. Sure, sure. There's a lot so of moisture inside. So you want them. You yeah. want them slowly to caramelize mm -hmm. and ultimately to come to that. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now to that, uh -huh. we will add some tomatoes, the capers. You can add the capers first. Okay. I capers will let first. you do. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. You as many as me? you'd like. Okay. I like capers. I like that little sour. Isn't in there, it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little almondy, mm -hmm. a little bitterness. And if it's caramelizing, texture. so you get a little sweet. Well, you and see, a little, you see, you see yeah. how. The, the cauliflower mm -hmm. and the squash has really caramelized. Now, yeah. that, now we put, of course, the the tomato, right. and we let this simmer. I put a little bit of peperoncino, um, just a little bit of salt because I yeah. salt the vegetables yeah. first. Yeah. Okay, and we let that simmer, nice and easy. I like the extra you know, salt. And it, the one thing, Harry, you yes. know, I know all you guys like to really crank up the fire. Yeah. Sometimes cooking gentle is nice, like in this case. Gentle is this good. will, if you cook it gentle, you see how nice oh, it comes? Oh, look at that, that's perfect. Okay. Look at this. Isn't I this? like the little one, two, three here. Well, uh, you know, I'm yeah. ready for you because I know mm -hmm. you want to taste. You're going to taste mm -hmm. it at that part. Okay, and I'm going to give you a job also. You're going to kind of, not, not chop, just break okay. those things in there. Just break them up? Right. Yeah. I am going to fish out the, the pasta, right. which has been cooked. And this, in this case... This is so simple. Well, this is so simple. And Anybody and could delicious, do this. You know, right? And it's nutritionally sound. You know, uh, squash is very rich in minerals right. and in vitamins. And it's so, in all of the stores, it, you don't have to have a green market. All of the stores are filled with gorgeous cauliflower, gorgeous squash. Hang on a second. I'm Tell looking me. at this. Look at the ah. color of this. What's, what's this? This is the yellow, yellow cauliflower. This ah. is the richest, the most nutritionally sound cauliflower. Uh -huh. It has the highest vitamin, the right. highest mineral. Yeah. So if you're buying cauliflower, uh -huh. and if you happen to see a yellow one, pick yeah. one up. Okay. okay. Here's the deal, though. So, so often I'm thinking, I cook my pasta, I'm going to plate it, and then I put something on top of it. This is all in one. This is, I mean, you said you watched my show. Not enough. I, I, I <laughs> continuously tell you about this, and that is that you undercook the pasta just a little bit, ah. and then and then you finish cooking see, it in the sauce. See, that's what my wife does, and she's a better student than me. Oh, you so, see. Okay. Right? So now you oh dress all of the pasta. This looks pretty good. Oh my you, gosh! You shut the the fire off. Oh my and we gosh. get some 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 cheese, some can grated. Can I just say? Can I just say for the record? Right in that there. is Tell me. absolutely spectacular. Is it great? Yeah, great. Really okay, good. I'll good do one. this over here. Good, good grating. All right. Now always grate mm -hmm. uh, the cheese. You know, I, I think for this dish, Grana Padana is excellent. Yeah. If you have pecorino is also good. Right. But that's stronger. I love yeah. I love this cheese. I and like And you a put it in after it is cooked and uh -huh. you close the fire because oh. this is a finished product you don't yeah. want to change it you want the creaminess mm. you know sometimes when you cook the cheese and then yeah. it separates on you yes okay yeah so you don't, don't want a little oil it. and no. everything no, else no, 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 and no. real real quickly what was for dessert let me let me plate no. i know you're gonna for dessert we have uh, a simple cake uh -huh. as you can see let me cut a piece of that Made inside from... with chocolate yeah. orange mm. and hazelnut so. The chocolate chips. So, Perfecto. you can begin with that. Yeah. And then we have some vino. I know what, yeah. I mean, a little Vespa, you know how that is. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. I get a hug for that one. There you go. And happy Columbus Day. <laughs> for these and more of Lydia's incredible Italian recipes, go to our website. That's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.